Welcome to Admiral Akbar's guided tour of Clearwater Lodge. Just thought I'd show you guys what it's like up here. Here's the uh, bedroom, bit of fishing gear on the bed there. This is the bedroom we're staying in. Air conditioning's beavering away. Plenty of room here. Then we look outside. You can see the water, I think it's called Avacinth Strait. And uh, over in the far distance is Bathurst Island or Melville Island. And that's the view. It's not a bad one of an evening. There's a custom ship out there as well. The sun's just getting ready to go down. And as we look around, there's the rest of the accommodation here. All very nice. And I'll just take you on a bit of a tour around this place. We flew over on Tuesday via Fly Tiwi. About a 25 minute flight from Darwin. It was pretty bumpy. Um, but no, it's a pretty spectacular flight as well. You go over a lot of the waterways, etc. Um, that's fantastic, uh, and as I said, only a short flight once you get to Darwin, so that's no, all good. Now this is the, uh, the cubicles, the toilet, showers, etc. Just off there to the left. Now we're just going down the path to the main building, re reception. Uh, good value here. They've got Foxtel, so we're going to be able to watch Friday night footy. And here's the reception area such as it is, there's the pool table, Foxtel playing, then we come through, you'll see here I've got my laptop charging on top of a crockhead, it's an interesting mix, fishing photos, then as we continue around here, it's the kitchen, area where uh, we get all our breakfast. Here's the bar and shop. So if you want drinks, it's open from 10am till midnight. Around here, this is where we'll be having dinner shortly. Last night we had mud crabs, uh, yabbies, prawns, estuary cod, finger marks, soup, um, basically a seafood bonanza. And you look out again over the straits between here and Bathurst, between Melville and Bathurst, there's Gary Wallerspoon taking some shots, looking over the jetty which is where we launched this morning and went for a fish, you can see the boat's tied up down there, there's a couple of crocs hanging around that jetty as well, just sort of moving our way along here, a few bits and pieces to entertain, dartboard, soccer table, sort of long neck tortoise down there, and as we continue over this way, the final piece of the puzzle, which is the uh, pool slash spa which you can see right there which I've just been reclining in this afternoon it's taken a bit of the sting out of the uh, fishing out in the boat today we had a good day though, got some barra some salmon and uh, odds and sods and had a lot of fun chucking lures so there you go, looking back towards reception in the eating area Absolutely sensational views. It was beautiful last night as the sun went down. The wind's dropped right off now. And as I said, I'll just peel around in a sec. And you will see, again, the jetty and the view out over the water. The customs boat out there. The sun's gone down behind the clouds now. We're hoping uh, that tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll chase some more barra. And then hopefully this wind won't pick up around mid-morning as it did the last two days. And we'll head out for some blue water action see if we can't get some GTs etc. So anyway, that's a quick uh, quick look at what Clearwater Lodge is like.